I V M. You have to be careful with everything nowadays, even while drinking water. There I was sitting at home drinking water, massaging my wife's feet. I always do that together because I love my wife. She's my beloved wife. And then my son calls me up from Canada, all the way from Canada, and he says, "Dad, have you heard?" I mean, I was watching the game at that point. I was a little irritated. I said, "Heard what?" And he said, "Now you can get Kotak home loans at just six point five percent." Ah, why? Even I went crazy. I, I, I mean, I spat all over my own wife after massaging her feet. I spat there. Can you believe it? And I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. I spat over her, and all I can say is, "Keep your jaan rakhiye." Because now I'm sleeping on the living room couch as a result of that. But really, folks, can you believe it? Six point five percent. That is incredibly low for a home loan. I mean, just visit www.kotak.com for more info. Terms and conditions apply. Interest rate starting at six point five percent per annum. Hello and welcome to Smile India. I'm Shifa Maitra and today I have delightful news from across the nation. I also have a request. As the festive season is upon us, please wear your mask when out and avoid adding to the crowds. Now, let's get to the news. The highway between Jammu and Kashmir used to be known for deadly accidents on hairpin bends. Used to be because now things have changed. Thanks to HP lubricants, a new technology is in place where the road honks and warns drivers about a vehicle coming towards them that they cannot see. Isn't that awesome? This was taken on as a trial project with radar technology. Sensors have been set up every few meters. At accident spots, sensors check the speed of vehicles and drivers get an alert in time to brake. As a result of this innovation, the drive is safer and not just drivers but even passengers heave a sigh of relief. In big cities, all of us get irritated by the sound of horns, but on highways, a horn like this can be a lifesaver, literally. What's happening is that post the review of this project roads that honk can become a reality across national highways road trips anyone Next up is news from Tamil Nadu's Tenkasi district a village here is home to Shridhar Vembu the owner of Zoho Corp a high tech company with a turnover of over 800 crores No he did not move here during the lockdown Shridhar moved to his roots long before that as he began working on his dream project He is trying to bridge the rural urban divide by providing training and skills to candidates in villages and small towns. 10 years ago Zoho Corp began a training center in Tenkasi for students who had completed high school or some vocational training. They get trained for 18 months and then get jobs in the company. Now they have 20 such centers across Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh. In the next 5 years this maverick CEO would like 50% of his 10,000 strong workforce to be based in rural India. and equipped to compete with the world he knows it's possible because he lives it he puts in long hours at work and often has meetings sitting in the fields he swims in the river every morning and eats food grown by his family he also teaches at a local school set up by him and can solve problems at the grassroots level without making a noise around it this man is conducting a social experiment that will change lives for years to come more power to zoho next up is a positive piece from meghalaya Just 65 kilometers from the capital Aizwal is a town called Siling. A national highway runs across it and people often stop here to shop at the trust shops. These are shops and kiosks without shopkeepers. On sale is fresh produce from the villages close by, organic vegetables, fruits and flowers with price tags and a box where you place the money for what you take. Yes, a tradition that continues till today. Shopkeepers come in the evening and take stock. They have never been paid less than what was due to them. They believe that if you trust people they will never cheat you. Shopkeepers can afford to take a nap in the day or play with their children knowing that their work continues. Work life balance at the next level, right? In fact, locals also shop here and know that they can take change back from the box after shopping. Very often at closing hour if there's some produce left, the shopkeeper leaves it there asking people to help themselves for free. At some point I'm going to shop here and will share photographic evidence to show you. Now I have to tell you about this woman whose life changed as she saw beauty in everything. At 52, Bhuri Bai from Madhya Pradesh is a Padma Shri award winner, a globally known painter who excels in a folk painting form called Pithora. What's amazing is this demure yet determined woman's relationship with art. She belongs to the Bheel tribe and grew up in a small village. Formal education was not possible, but she saw her parents and elders create beautiful art on the walls of their homes. It was the traditional Pithora art which takes inspiration from nature. So she also collected twigs and with flowers from the jungle and turmeric from the kitchen began expressing her creativity on the walls. 
She was married off as a child and continued painting on the walls at her in-laws. At 16, her husband called her to Bhopal, the big city close by. There, they worked as labor on construction sites and got six rupees a day. While others took a break and rested in the day, Guri painted on stones. She was content with her lot, but life had other plans. One day, well-known artist Jagdish Swaminathan saw these stones and asked to meet the artist. Guri met him and he asked her if she could paint like this on paper and canvas. She decided to try, but made it clear that no two paintings would be the same because what got created was from her imagination, which could not be disciplined. He agreed and she got paid 50 rupees per painting. Her art spoke for itself and soon she got commissioned more work. Her art was displayed at galleries across the country and soon the world. She travelled to England and America but did not lose her childlike innocence. While her status in life changed, she decided to pause. She went back to her village and told the young girls and women there to continue painting. She started teaching them how to use paints and a brush. The government noticed her initiative and asked her to teach at a museum in Bhopal as well. So now Bhuribai paints, teaches and spends time in nature every day to let her imagination soar. Just goes to show how honouring the child in you always pays. That's it for today and I'll be back next week with more delightful news from India. Till then, stay home, stay safe and get vaccinated. For more interesting information on our country, please like and follow Good News Indians on Facebook. To hear more engaging podcasts, download the IBM app, go to the IBM website or look for us wherever you get podcasts from. To stay in touch with me, you could look up Shifa Maitra on Twitter and Instagram. Since you heard and liked Smile India in English, you could check out our Hindi version too and recommend it to people who prefer podcasts in Hindi. Hello everybody, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcasting Network. On Know Your Kano, Number talks to Anshula Kapoor about her social celebrity charity, Fankind, the ideology of the charity, and the various regulations behind this concept. On 30 Minute Rasa with Kesha, meet three of the most breathtaking gompas that are situated near Leh. On Shuni One, Shilita and I talk to Giridhar Yasa, Chief Technology Officer at Lending Card. On Say No to Drama, Chetna unravels the law of attraction and the spirituality surrounding it. And on the Life Manifesto, Zarina explains what it takes to be courageous with an interesting Spartan ideology from ancient history. Do follow us on social media, we're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you enjoyed this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. We appreciate the word of mouth. And finally, we'd like to thank the sponsors on our network this week, Cred, Bank of Baroda Quarter, Coin Switch Kuber, Slay Coffee, Intel, and Kodak Mahindra Bank. Thank you so much for making this possible. Are you looking for finance products and services that can enhance your personal finance experience? Are you looking for a space to talk about your financial product or service? And are you looking for a crisp talk show where the conversation is all about money? Well, your search ends here. Hi. My name is Anupam Gupta and I'm host of the Pesa Pesa podcast and I invite you for the conversation about your personal finance on each Monday on the IVM podcast app or the website or on any podcast streaming platforms. See you folks.